everyone, it's Sarah Beth here, and today I'm going to teach you how to build a front porch in The Sims 4. And best of all, it's base game. So let's go into our game here, and we're going to build in Willow Creek. And I'm looking for a 30 by 20 lot. Daisy Hovel will do really well. So let's go ahead and click build on that. And wait for the loading screen. <laughs> So I find the best lighting to build in is the afternoon light. So go ahead and change the lighting. And we'll want to build an eight, an eight by two inch long room. And we're not gonna use this room for anything right now. It's just going to serve as a facade. So I'm counting out here, nine. Let's reduce it down to eight. There we go. So, I want this to be a two-story building, so I'm going to repeat the uh, build the room on the second floor. And you'll notice that we have three different wall heights, short, medium, and tall. I find that the medium is the most versatile. You can also adjust the foundation height of your rooms. So I'm going to raise mine a few, enough for a few steps tall. So we'll need to put in a, a small staircase to access the building. Next, we're going to build the actual front porch. So for that, you want to select the square deck so a room. That's the most versatile. And I added a small one in the center just to make it a little different. So let's get rid of these fence sections. You can either delete them one by one, or if you go back to the arrow mode, you can cl double click it and click select remove fence. It's a little bit quicker. Oops. And of course you can always hit the backspace, the undo button to correct something. And let's remove that front one real quick. Let's add our stairs. So you want to select the stairs and ladders selection. And we're going to use the townhouse stairway or the workaday stairway. I think that one will look nice. It's wooden, it has a wooden texture. So you can expand it. Okay, let's choose our exterior section. And I wanted to go for a clapboard look. And I think this red and white trim will look really nice. Okay, our next step will be our door. There are three different door heights, tall, medium, and short. I'm going to go for a uh, medium height door. I like this one. And I think the red door will be, the red door with the white trim will look nice. Our next step will be to select our windows. And again, there are three different, uh, window heights, short, medium, and tall. And for the lower floor, I'm going to select the angel wing, medium, tall, or medium height window. And I think the all white trim will look nice. Okay, let's add a ceiling to our uh, porch. To do that, you wanna double click your room and click add ceiling or build ceiling. Okay, now let's add our porch railing or fence. On the left-hand side of the fence menu, you have three building options. The top option allows you to freehand build. The middle option will build it as a room. And the third option will actually replace a previously constructed fence. So that's the option I chose here. Oops, don't wanna do that. It will also replace a wall and turn it into a fence, but you can always hit the undo button to fix that. Let's add some columns. So you can find those under the column option. And I like the one with the red trim. So try to make, uh, try to space them out fairly evenly. I usually put them at the end of the fence or at corners. If they're, uh, if they look fairly symmetrical, they have a, a better uh, appearance, at least in my opinion. Next, we want to add the spandrels. Those are the decorative uh, wood trim up at the um, ceiling line. And I didn't know if I wanted to add a spandrel 
at that front little jutting portion of the uh, porch or jutting section. I did, but I didn't like the way it looked. So I hit undo. Next, let's add our foundation texture. I decided to go with the white lattice work for the front porch itself and the wood siding foundation for the main portion of the house. Uh, I think red would go well so it matches the rest of the home. There we go. Now we need to add a roof to the, to the porch. So I went with the half gabled roof and you'll want to use the arrows to reduce the roof uh, trim overhang. You can also use it to lower the angle and to uh, size it to the room that you need. Next up, um, once I extend it out here, I want to make the roof line a little bit more interesting. So I added a small gabled roof uh, to give a bit more architectural detail to the front porch. And here I'm just kind of sizing it and experimenting with the roof uh, overhang. Once that is done, we'll need to add the roof siding. I decided to make it match the rest of the uh, front porch. Let's not forget the roof shingles, of course. I like this one. I think it, it uh, complements the, the build. Don't forget the roof lined on the second floor. Again, I went with uh, the gabled roof. And you can copy and paste um, the siding in order to make it match. That's easier than going through the wall texture tool. And I decided to go with the same um, shingle for the, the main roof. Next up, we'll need to add windows. Again, um, I decided to go with the angel wing window, but medium height was too tall, so there's a matching one um, in the short window height. Oops, that's not going to fit. So I need to reduce the angle of the roof line just a little bit. And now it will fit. So make sure those are lined up with the windows on the first floor. And that looks okay. I want to give this build a little bit more character. So I think I'm going to add a, a small attic. That's too big. A small attic window. I recommend adding some roof trim to give your build a bit more polished look. And there's plenty of different types and colors to choose from. Today I'm going to match it uh, to the roof tile. Um, although sometimes adding a little contrast can make it a bit more interesting. And there we go. That looks fairly decent. Let's check over our build and see what final details we need to add. Oh, I just realized I forgot to add the floor the flooring, so I think I'm going to go with a, a white washed wood floor. That looks better. Next, uh, let's add some lighting. I'm looking under the ceiling lights in the lighting category in the build by menu, and I think I like this one in this dark, like, dark metal tone. And next we'll want to check the lighting. So let's look at it under evening. And that looks fairly decent. Here we go. It's a simple front porch. I have the download link in the description below. And if you like this video, please click like and subscribe.